Hi pancake lovers! In Ireland we love to celebrate Pancake Tuesday with a giant mountain of pancakes. Although our pancakes are less like the American style pancakes and more like the thin French crepes. My favourite way of enjoying them is with a little bit of castor sugar and some lemon juice. It is absolutely delicious. But if you're in for a treat, I'm going to show you how to top them three brilliant ways, but also give you the basic pancake batter you're going to need this Pancake Tuesday. The pancake batter can be made up in advance and kept in the fridge just until you're ready to fry them up. So to start off, sieve in 120 grams of flour, that's one cup of plain flour, into a large bowl. And then using the back of a spoon, just make a well in the centre of your flour. In a large measuring jug, pour in 200 millilitres of milk, 75 millilitres of water, and then two large free-range eggs. Give the whole lot a good mix through with a whisk. Pour that wet mixture straight into the well in your flour and then using a whisk, slowly incorporate the wet ingredients into the dry ingredients until you're left with a really nice smooth batter. Cover the bowl and place in the fridge for about 30 minutes to rest. Right before you start to cook your pancakes, melt two tablespoons of salted butter in a small saucepan and then add one tablespoon of that melted butter straight into the pancake mixture and give it a good mix. Then you want to use the rest of that butter to grease your pancake pan. Get the pancake pan on a nice medium heat and then using some folded up kitchen paper, just rub the base of it so that it's completely covered. Pour a ladle full of the pancake batter onto the hot frying pan and just give it a good swirl to coat the base of it. Cook the pancakes for about two to three minutes either side. You're kind of looking for a golden brown color, but if you're feeling extra brave, this is where you can get pancake flipping. There's so many ways to top your pancakes now that you have them cooked off, but here are three epic little ways to serve them up. Nutella, berries and toasted hazelnuts. This one is so simple. Just spread each pancake with a generous amount of Nutella. Sprinkle over whatever berries you like. You could use raspberries or blueberries and then top it off with some toasted hazelnuts. Roll them up and they're ready to go. Strawberries and cream, oh yes. If you want that contrast of sweet fruit and rich vanilla creaminess, this is the one for you. So spread each pancake with some strawberry jam, mix together six tablespoons of creme fraiche with one teaspoon of icing sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Dollop that mixture on top of the jam and decorate with some sliced strawberries. Caramelized bananas with dark chocolate. This version is ridiculously good. Peel and slice three bananas in half lengthways and then coat in some demerara sugar and fry in three tablespoons of salted butter until they have a really nice colour on all sides. Spread each pancake with some melted chocolate and then top with caramelised bananas and a sprinkle of crushed toasted hazelnuts. It is properly good. Three pancake toppers, each one more delicious than the other, and if you can bear it, I'm now going to taste them and tell you what I think, so stick with me. I'm going to start with the bananas and our hazelnuts and chocolate. Oh, I'm so looking forward to this one, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a roll. Crispiness, lovely, lovely. Mm. Oh, yes. Mm -mm. You've got that wonderful sweet caramel around the banana and then when it's mashed with that beautiful kind of almost bitter dark chocolate and the toastiness from the hazelnuts, it's absolutely gorgeous. This, I think, is the contender for my favourite so far, but I've only eaten one, so we'll stick with it. So ridiculously good. All I can do is apologise. You're going to have to watch me eat another pancake after this. But that is so good. Creamy, sweet Nutella with that wonderful tart sweetness from the berries. Really great crunch in there. I don't know, it's a contender. It's definitely a contender. I'm, I'm liking the two, but we're gonna go for the third. Stick with me. We've got strawberries, that lovely vanilla scented creme fraiche, and some lovely strawberry jam. So, okay, here we go. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> mm -mm -mm -mm. I feel like I'm lying telling you they're all good, but they're amazing. So delicious. You've got that wonderful vanilla scented creme fraiche, really sweet strawberry jam. 
and then that lovely texture from the fresh strawberries. It's three fantastic pancake toppers. I really hope that you give them a go. The full recipe is on my website in the box below. Click a big like if you're a pancake fan. And of course, if you want more sweet treats, check out my sweet treats playlist, which has come up on the screen somewhere here. And then make sure to subscribe because there's lots more sweet treats on the channel. Please leave me a comment and tell me how you eat yours and I'll see you soon. Bye guys.